Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. <laughs> okay, now. Oh, no. Is this on the right one? Yeah. Hello. 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 I can hear it. Oh, there we go. There you are. There we are. You I know forget what it is? that you're three. This is it. Reaper. Oh, no kidding. Reaper. It's a good one. So last night I could not sleep. Well, not really. It was like 10 o'clock. And you I'm like, wow, what sleeping. are we going to talk I'm about? Move this closer oh, yeah. to me. And I, I was like, what are we going to talk about? I'm trying to always get a theme, you know, and then kind of warn you so that you right. can kind of be ready and think about it all day. I know. I was, Obviously, we're not planning a couple weeks yeah. out anymore like we used to because we're busy. So we record the same week that it goes live. We pretend know, we Friday. have lives. Yeah. Or, we, you know, when it goes. <laughs> When we share it. Yeah. So I was like, man, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And then I'm like, you know what? How about we talk about movies and TV shows? Yeah. Because I was talking about how I wanted to do that other thing with the music and all that. I was thinking about doing a second podcast and Cass you said, are no. You crazy. <laughs> she's, be, she's being protective of me. I do not have time. I do not have time. Like, you know, I always tell people when they say, oh, I just don't have time for that. And you're like, we know you do. We don't have time. You do. I do. I have no life and I just show up. I don't have to do anything. You do not have time. I said when we're millionaires from this podcast and we don't have to work and we can do 12 podcasts a week then. I will do as many podcasts as you want me to right, do. Right, right. So I have this other idea, but then I was like, well, let's bring it over. So we're going to talk about movies crazy, and girl. TV shows, and they're all retail-based. So you, yes. it sounds like Johnny was asking. Johnny asked, which he never does. He said, what's the subject of your guys' podcast tonight? Mm-hmm. And I said, we're going to talk about like shows and movies that are based on retail. And he was like, equalizer. And I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about that He watches one. a lot of movies he and does, TV shows, well, right? We should have had him on. Because he has no job. Well, okay. Poor Johnny. Johnny, Pick get on off Johnny Netflix. Every- <laughs> no, or just come on the podcast and tell us all about the oh movies. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's like, there's nothing to watch. I'm like, we have Netflix, Hulu. There's this thing called Pluto TV, Tubi TV. We have Disney Plus. We have paramount plus we have like don't you dare tell me we have nothing to watch i saw a meme that said please do not let me sign up for one more streaming oh network or whatever we might as well be paying for cable i know it's I terrible know. that's well, why we if got you rid share of cable. like if you have your we sister's do. login yeah, and your mom's do. login and your we really login. only pay for like <laughs> three of them and, and your and neighbor's yeah, login everybody and- <laughs> we all swip swap Tell Eric to keep his drapes open, keep his TV I, on. You can watch sometimes from there. It's funny because when his son Brennan is up from Texas, yeah. and so then he'll have like SpongeBob on his TV. Aww. And I'm like, what are you doing watching SpongeBob? He's like, what the hell? You know? <laughs> but his blinds just broke. So now oh, they no. have to be down. I was like, man, I'd pull in and be like, is Eric on the coach? You know? <laughs> now you can't watch SpongeBob. I can't, yeah. So I had a super great couple weeks, super great yeah. meetings. I think it's the magnesium I'm taking. Yes. I told you that, yes. right? Yes. Like not nerves anymore. I did pick my finger just a little bit. I, I have mean, bad habits of picking my thumb. I got a Band-Aid too because yeah. I sliced my finger open today. <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's like keeping me calm and I'm going through all these meetings. So this afternoon I'm on, a, I'm on, a, this is why we're recording a little bit later. Yeah. So I have a call with a division. It started at 4.30 and as soon as I, I, as soon as I got on, I couldn't get my spreadsheet to open and I was like, oh, that's all right. I'm not leading this call so they're asking questions though and they're they're needing answers oh from gosh. me and I was really trying to have my team member lead it because I just don't ever want to steal like someone right. leading a call that right. they set up and so I was completely off just feeling like I'm not answering these questions correctly. Are you having anxiety all night now? You're not no, going to sleep No, no, not all? at all. Not at all. And the vibe was very strange. The questions were nothing that I prepared for. I am a preparer when yeah. it comes to everything. Yeah. Everything. I have notes everywhere. And I get off the call and I send it to my team member. I send her a, a, a ping and I said, that did not go. And she goes, yeah, the vibe was super weird. Really? So it wasn't me. Okay. Something was just weird about it. It wasn't just it. you overthinking yeah, it. Yeah, no. And yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't overthinking it because I, I, I went in thinking, oh, I'm not, I'm not leading this call. I don't need you know, to, to be talking about anything. Right. And sure enough, 
you know, it was like, oh, well, what do you think? And I could tell that maybe she didn't have the answer. I always want to let the team member speak or whoever's leading speak, and then I'll add to it. You know, you never want to, like, right. interrupt. And I just, the vibe was just so strange. And you're just like... Yeah, so I'm a little, like, dazed right now. Camera. Like, what happened? What oh, were my you, gosh. You know? But, I mean, I think it's all going to turn out. We have a follow-up call tomorrow with just the, you know, in-team. In yeah. But I don't know. It was just super strange. So it threw me off. But now I'm super happy to be here to talk about some other stuff. So to, like relax talk. Yeah. And have to, to relax really think talk. about it. You yeah. Know, and yeah. It was yeah. just, I'm sure that everyone has that happen. Yeah. You just get off a, off a call and you're just like, what was that? Well, and there's always, could that have just been an email or an email that could have been a call? I had that happen last week, which actually turned out very well. I sent the email. I said, you know, just want to, you know, save time for everyone. I only have three bullet points. And the, um, the manager wrote back and said, no, I absolutely want to keep this. I have some questions. And oh. it turned into an hour long, yeah. just three bullet points points yeah. Yeah. that was good so sometimes an email should yeah. have been a meeting sometimes a me- meeting should have been an email or yeah. sometimes it just turns out that way so right. it's even when you visit in stores too yes you go to meet someone and you think it's going to be like oh this guy's cool or this gal's cool i'm going to show them what to do and then it's just the vibe is weird like it just happens yeah. yeah or you walk up like yesterday i approached a uh, team member that was doing something for me and i wanted to ask some questions i introduced myself he knew i was coming and at, right away, it was just kind of like real weird. Like, yeah, I guess, but I'm busy. And, but, you know, we have labor shortages, as you people should know. Oh, you know, that's kind of how, like, the attitude was. Yeah. And so I kind of had to say, no problem. Let me help you yes. do what you're doing while I ask the questions. That yeah. way you're not losing time. I'm getting my answers. Right. And then it turned out just fine. Right. So I guess it's all in how I'm sure you they appreciated and, the help. Yeah. Yeah. How you can maybe yeah. 180 it and just say, oh, wait, yeah. I can feel this. Let me. But tonight, I couldn't. The meeting tonight couldn't was turn just, the attitude I couldn't around. turn it around. It's so weird. <laughs> and I have, a, I know it wasn't me. And so I know tomorrow when we meet, we're all going to be like, yeah, weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> I very, you know, every Friday we do like a team call. Yeah. Yeah. And just talk about stuff going on. Yeah. Do we have any new people we're repping, you know, this and that, or what's going on, what's going on sale, whatever. And it's just always like, I feel like it could be an email. <laughs> I usually have very little to like give to the meeting. It's generally like our, our managers, you know, speaking to you. Right. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I just, (laughs) and then I'll be like off mute, go to say something. Somebody else already said it. Oh my gosh. That happens all the time to me (laughs) all the time. You know what I did today? I meant to like, I was. I was in a call that I was only going to be there for the end questions because I already know the deck. I built the deck with the person. And so there was like 30 pages. It was an hour long. Oh my gosh. So I already knew what he was going to say. We've been know practicing you forever, you know, and he was a real fast talker. So it was great. And then at the end, I was the one to answer any questions because it was about retail. So I, <laughs> he's talking and you know, there's 30 people on the call and I was going to work as I, cause I knew what he was going to say. I was yeah. just listening. And yeah. if there were any questions, I would answer them. So I'm working, I'm working, I'm working and I'm typing real fast and I didn't realize that I had hit myself on unmute because I so was it's just like yeah it was absolutely oh my and god and so during the meeting and he was like and I really appreciate Meredith taking all these notes for me like he knew I was not he knew I was working I appreciate Meredith taking all these notes uh, for me and then we'll follow up with any questions that oh you god. have and I'm like mm-hmm. <laughs> like I just shaked towards the camera <laughs> It was excellent. I don't know how you do all these meetings. You know, I, it took me a long time. I have to say for those that are just starting a new job or a new role that's, you know, um, at your at home or whatever, it's remote. It took me a year. Yeah. I'm also a little bit older, you know, young, fresh out of college. I know that you're used to it. Like yeah. my kids are used to it yeah. because that's all they have right They're now. Sitting all day in I school. am not yeah. used to it. I'm used to being in stores, right. you know, 10 years moving in around. the stores, yeah. moving around. So it took me a solid year. So I was celebrating a year in the beginning of February. Yeah. And I feel since that, it was like, oh, I got this. Yeah. You know, now I get it. But unfortunately, my goal is always like 20,000 steps. I have like 1300 oh right now I, I sat and worked the whole day so you need one of you need to get your desk over your treadmill I should I like really that should lady did yeah I really should I would That's get the only so way many I'd steps be able to in. do it and they have ones on Amazon that are not very expensive yeah. I could actually probably just put it over my little desk or put it under my desk yeah just to keep walking because by tomorrow now I have a but early... then would you be like walking and like this 
Well, you you get a you would get a she walked like over her desk. Yeah. You would get a desk <laughs> riser. I have that at I have oh. that at the office in okay. the city where I stand. You can stand. I stand the whole time, and See, it's a riser. Yeah, that's I love because pretty much the only time I go on the computer at work is if I have to print tags. You know, and they're all on the and they're carts. all standing desks. Yes. Oh my yep. god, I love it. Yes. I don't want to sit down. That's how it is at the office. I have one. The funny thing is, it has like a ledge. For a keyboard if you want it. And then yeah. there's a higher one where you would put your laptop. Yeah. And someone put their their I don't know how I don't know how he did it, but he put his computer on the bottom ledge where you put the keyboard and then squeezed the sides to bring it down for the day and cracked his laptop in oh, half. No. Like it went underneath and cracked it. And so he walked into a meeting holding both. Oh my like god. Like it was still working, but he was holding He's both. Like, Just don't sides. jiggle it too much. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see by my slides here. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how it was still working. Oh my god! But it only took them like a, a day to get a new one because you know they're in the office. But oh my gosh, it was crazy. You for like a billion dollar company. <laughs> they're like, oh, you need a new iMac Pro? Sure, no problem. <laughs> oh gosh, no, 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 no. You want to hear what else I did what? today? So I was on the phone with Drew, so he knows this story. Drewgal. We were talking about some plans that we're doing, which I'm super excited for, and um, I said, oh wait, you know what? I have to do this on my my other computer, not my work computer. We were going to, I was looking at something. I definitely don't ever do anything on my work computer. I don't Google anything, nothing. So I grabbed it real quick. I had my headphones in, so I was still talking to him. I walked back and I was setting my um, computer down off to the side where I normally don't sit. And I sat down and smashed my knee onto the corner of my desk. I thought I was going to vomit. It hurt so okay. bad because everybody talks about the funny bone in the elbow you have kneecaps. one in your knee too yes. oh my god it's i'll probably send you a um a message later i bet it's just completely yes. bru- i was like he was still talking i was listening i'm like i feel it in my teeth <laughs> It hurts so he's like, you feel it in your you hit your knee, oh my God. but you feel it in your teeth. In other words, like I wanted to vomit. Yeah. It hurts so bad. Like I can't even imagine. I've never broke a bone. No. So all of you <gasps> out our there, friend, Teresa just, just broke, broke her, her foot. Okay, did you read the rest of the comments? She did not break her foot. She broke her tibula and fibula. And, and she's gonna have surgery. I think she said she's got orthopedic surgeon coming up. Terrible. Yeah. Oh, I can't even imagine. Knock on I wood. can't yeah. But I've been very fortunate now. I've pulled tons of muscles. Yeah. I had my shoulder surgery. I've had a, I've had a other things, right, right. you know, but I've never broken a bone. So I cannot even imagine because I thought I was going to die hitting I've my done knee that, today. I've done that getting into the car. Oh, my god! And gosh. it, like, hits on, like, the bottom of the dash. And I just, like, sit in my car oh. like, oh, oh my gosh. My it's life. like you can't cry. You're angry that it <laughs> yeah. happened. Your teeth hurt. You want to vomit. <laughs> Maybe take a poop. How many minutes are we in? <laughs> 12. <laughs> you know, it's like, it is the worst. It's, the worst. it's like yeah. smashing your pinky toe or like, you know, smashing I can a handle finger. my pinky toe. I don't know. That was just like, like the only I did reason that my pinky Easter toes are there is to let you know ago. where the furniture in the house is, right? <laughs> Johnny was laughing at me because I had been drinking on Easter. I, that was when I was still working like at the store. So mm. I, I was probably off the next day. I probably worked that morning or something. Mm-hmm. And he had... He got from this um, bait shop that burnt down these cooler doors, right? Oh, yeah. So they're made of wood, and they have these real heavy handles on them. Yeah. And he had just put them down in the basement, and I went down in the basement for something, and I cracked my pinky toe on that thing. (laughs) So, of course, I was mad at him (laughs) because he put it there. Not mad at myself. Oh, it's just the worst. And there's nothing you could do about it. Like I was rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it. It didn't, yeah, it didn't no, help. It didn't no. help. And I've somehow I was still listening to what he was saying because I knew we were, the plans we were making. Right. You know, and I was just like, oh, you're not going to believe this. I just cracked my knee. Oh, it's the worst. Feel it in my teeth. He's like, wait, you cracked your knee. You feel it in your teeth. My knee still hurts <laughs> like like superficially from when I slipped and fell at the store because oh. it went under my car, and, oh. you know. And I was like shaving my legs for the first time in forever. Yes, not yesterday, but I think it was Sunday. Yeah. And I was like, damn, like it still has like this real dark, like oh, scar. Oh, man. <laughs> and I'm so white. So it <laughs> really sticks. <laughs> really. Out. I'll have to go get a spray tan. You won't be able to see my bruise. <laughs> I don't know. Bruises on the knees always look so yeah. bad to me. Yeah. Like, what were you doing? They're you know, terrible. like who dragged you or whatever? <laughs> what, were you doing? what were you doing on your knees? Anyways, let's go to yeah. movies. Yes.
<laughs> so you have a list. I have a list. Yeah. So I, whatever you want to do, I think mine is just kind of all over the place. I just want to mention, is too. yeah, that I got a lot of the information from vocal.media. There was a writer named Matt Loftus. And so he kind of gave a couple like up, you know, like his yeah. own, what he thought about the movie. So okay, I have a little bit of I that. I think I looked at that one too. Yeah. Um, yeah. There were some, and then I, of course, Wikipedia, and then I am... Uh, DB. IMDb. IMDb. Yeah. yeah. So. So I wanted to talk about the ones that people don't know about, right? Yeah, so let's do that. We know. Well, first of all, I don't know about any <laughs> of them except for maybe two. So. We know Clerks. Oh, you know Clerks. <laughs> <laughs> That's from 1994. <laughs> That's got Jay and Silent Bob in it. <laughs> <laughs> we know, um, what was the one Julia said? Uh, employee of the month. Employee of the month. I like that, that one. one. That's Dane Cook, Dax yeah. Shepard, Shepard, right? Jessica Simpson. Dax Dane, Shepard, is that his Dane name? Dane Cook. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Dax, Dane, um, and Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> and then Christine said, 40 year old virgin. Yes, yes. Which I forgot about that movie. I did forget about that one. And I forgot that it was like retail based. Yes, I absolutely. Have like something, right? So that's here. Steve Carell. Catherine Keener, Paul Rudd. I forgot I, Paul Rudd was in there. And Seth Rogen. I love that movie. Yeah, I have to watch that again. That was the kind of movie that I would start to watch it, couldn't finish it. I would watch the middle, couldn't finish it. Really? Watch the end, really wanted to watch the beginning again. Really? And then I think years ago, I finally watched it all the way through. I'm like, what a fun, cute movie. Yeah. And it, you know, it has 10 wins and 19 nominations for varying awards. Really? Yeah, so we're not the only ones that really like it. A lot of people like that one, so. I like that one. Yeah. Um. Okay, so how about an animated one that I know is very popular? I believe it's from 2016, is Sausage Party. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like the food in the grocery store. I totally forgot about it's that It's like one. the hot dogs and stuff. So that's another one I started watching. I'm like, I cannot watch <laughs> this. I think that one is, Um. you know what? I just took a screenshot. I didn't look at it. Um, Seth Rogen also is, it, is, is the he? voice oh of the my hot gosh. dog. Yeah, that's so funny. Okay, what's the? Do you know the whole plot to that movie? Like, what, what, what is could, it? Do you know? I could look really. Yeah, quick. and as you're looking, so do you? Do you remember what year Employee of the Month was? No, 2006. <sighs> that's how long it's been. I'm so old. Yeah. Okay, so Sausage Party says life is good for all the food items that occupy the shelves at the local supermarket. Frank, Seth Rogen, the sausage. And Brenda is Kristen Wiig, the hot oh. dog bun. She's the hot dog bun. Yeah. <laughs> um, Teresa Taco and Sammy Bagel Jr. Wait, but who's Teresa Taco? Because Sammy Bagel Jr. is Edward Norton, which I did not realize that. Oh, wow. Um, can't wait to go home with a happy customer. Oh, but then they figure out when they go home with the customers, they get eaten. Yeah. So they're like trying to hide in the grocery store. Oh, my store. gosh. I'll have to watch. I started watching. I was like, I can't watch this. I'll have to watch it again. I think we went to the movie theater to oh, see that Oh, that's awesome. One. Yeah. That's that so funny. awesome. Yeah. Oh, gosh. So what else you got on your list? I have Empire Records from 1995. Yes. So that's a great one. That's a good that's one. That's a really good one. I like that one. That's a good one. It says, okay, so this is the Matt Loftus um what he says about it. So when a struggling record shop is uh, about to be taken over by a big music chain, the employees band together and fight back against the corporate machine. So that's what that one's about. If anyone's interested. Um, Liv how Tyler's about in that. mannequin from <gasps> 1987? Yes. What a great one. Tom Hanks. Yes. And who is the blonde I don't or the, know. or not the, um, the, who's the female? Let me see. I got it. I was actually just thinking of what's the one that he's in with the blonde. It's she's a fish or oh uh, yeah, the, what is that That's, one? Um, splash. Yeah, I was thinking of yeah. that one. But no, there is something on my face right here, and it's driving me crazy. I can't see I can't it. See it? It's got to be just like a little piece of dry skin or something. Oh, um, it's because you're looking oh, down wait. at your phone. Am I looking at the wrong one? Oh, mannequin is so great. Manathan, Ma- Manathan, Manathan, <laughs> Manaskin. Because Isn't that a band? Is Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan Switcher, who is played by Andrew McCarthy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. I was thinking of um, the other one. Yes. And then um, okay. it's Kim Cattrall. Yeah. From oh, my gosh. Sex and the that's City. right. Yes. Okay. Now I that knew we have, I knew who it now was. Now that we have those two straight, because those two remind yes. me of uh, similar movies. They're probably not the same at all. Yes. That's, those are 80s movies, right? Um, 
also even earlier than 80s, but has been remade a million times, Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah. Yeah. Macy's. Yep. That's a good one. It's a retail movie. It, it absolutely, yeah, absolutely <laughs> is. Wow. I love that one. That's a good one. I did not watch that one this past year. I no, got to put I got to put on the I list. I might not have either. Yeah. Oh, I have all the simple ones here. I have all the simple ones here. I was digging deep and I even found some like um movies made in Europe. Me too. So, did you see Cart? But then they have Carts. Hmm. So there's two different ones. Cart is employees of a big box discount retailer band together when the contract workers are some uh, summarily laid off. I think that one's from Europe. Okay. And then Carts. So that one was 2014. Hmm. Carts was made in 2007. A group of misfit shopping cart attendants deal deal with another day in their dead end jobs. Oh, okay. Okay. That sounds funny. I bet that's funny. Yeah. So I haven't seen either of those, but. And then I have clerks on here. Did we already mention that yep, or no? Clerks. Yep. That's the one that I said I knew and you were like, yeah, I don't know that one. Directional <laughs> debut for Kevin Smith. I am a super fan of Kevin Smith. Do you know who that is? Um, that's With the beard. Jay and Silent Bob, right? Yeah. I Silent think so. Bob. Yeah. I, I just, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like him. Yeah. He was in Catch and Release as well. That's the Kevin. Oh, right, I've seen Kevin that. Smith. Okay, I don't think I've seen. That's that. a good one. That's okay. Um, one that I've never seen that has one, two, of the people that I really like is called The Promotion. Oh, and it's got John C. Riley and um, what's this other guy's name? What's that guy's name? Do you remember that guy's nope. name? Shit, he's from Dude, Where's My Car? Sean something? Or? Yes. Okay. It is Sean something. Okay. So the promotion, and it says um, rivalry promotions. Oh, two assistant managers of a corporate grocery store vie for a coveted promotion. Oh. I need to watch that. It's only 86 minutes long. And what year is it from? It does not tell me. What's the one with Jennifer Aniston? Oh, you know which one? Uh, um... Uh, office space, right? Oh Isn't my that, God. I, yeah, she's the waitress. And I know it's in the office, but you know, yeah, like they, they the go waitress. to the restaurant yeah. and stuff. So that's kind of like how things happen. Where's your cha- You only yeah. have seven pieces of tchotchkes or whatever. <laughs> but it's not flair. Ch- flair. Flair. <laughs> call it tchotchkes. Tchotchkes. <laughs> she's like, well, isn't that how many I'm supposed to say? Well, you know, you could have more. And oh she's like, God. fuck this yeah, yeah. job. <laughs> <laughs> I love office space. Yeah. Office space. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like when they're um, like killing the printer. Dude, yes. <laughs> Today's going to be a good day. <laughs> I like when he's like listening to the rap music. Oh, yeah, he's singing it. He's like like, rolls rolls it it down. (laughs) Rolls up his window, locks his door. Oh, I thought he rolled it. Turned it down. (laughs) There's Um, just certain parts in movies that just get me. Oh, it's so funny. They stick out. Yeah, they They do. They stick out. So, one that I've never watched is Kim's Convenience. Oh, I've never heard of it. And it's on Netflix. And it says while running a convenience store in Toronto, Members of a Korean-Canadian family deal with customers, each other, and the evolving world around them. Mm. Um, it's five seasons. It started in 2016. Wow. I've gone past it a million times on Netflix, and I have not watched it. So now I'm starting to think about... So speaking of shows, I have Superstore on here. What's Superstore? So it's a look... Um, at the lives of employees at a big box store. So they wear like the blue aprons and there's like clouds on their aprons. Yeah. And it's got uh, Ben Feldman, Colton Dunn, Mark McKinney, and Lauren Ash. And there's 113 episodes. And it went from 2000. (laughs) It went from 2015 to 2021. And people mentioned it. I wonder. They said Superstore on there. I was like, I've never seen it. Is it a European one? A British maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. I like I think it was on IMDb I was looking also, and yeah. it would tell you where it was from. Yeah. I like that. Um, what about Paul Blart Mall Cop? Oh, yeah, both. There's two of them. <laughs> two. One and two. That's a great one. That's, That's so a great funny. one. 2009 and 2015. You know, I keep saying the dates because I watch these movies. I'm like, oh, that's so funny. I like what she's wearing, but they're so old. Yeah. Like, they're not yesterday. Yeah. They're not I like... Know. 
You like what she's wearing. Yeah. Like, I want that sequin That was dress. like tw- <laughs> 13 years ago. You know, it's like, eh. Um, what about my favorite movie of all time? Waiting. Elf. Oh, Elf. <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about Waiting. <laughs> I mean, that's another one of my favorite movies. I was, I was so ready. I have it here. It's like Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> Reynolds Anna Ferris. I was like ready to talk about I it. I do love that movie. Oh, that's great. God, I love that movie. But that's because I was in the waitress industry. Do you, you know what know? the name of the restaurant is that they work at? Shit. Sh- Sh- it's <laughs> shenanigans. Shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans. With a Z. So then wasn't that in um, Super Troopers? He's like, the next person that says shenanigans, I'm going to shoot him or whatever. <laughs> and they're like, they tell the one, I can't think of his name, the fat one. What's a place you really like to go and eat? And he's like, shenanigans? And he's like, oh. <laughs> Wait, go back to Elf, though. I know. Elf. Oh, my god! Elf is in retail store. Why don't you go back to Gimbal's? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) They're in a mall. They got got the mall Santa going on, right? Oh, my gosh. Another really good classic is Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Right? Not that she, like, works retail, right? Uh Does she? I don't even know. Does she work retail? Oh, my gosh. It's been so long since I've seen that one. I haven't seen that one in so, so long. So good. So good. Or is she kind of like a con artist? I don't remember. I think she's like a con artist in that movie. Um, so I have High Fidelity. Dude. Were you just going to read that? <laughs> because I've never seen this. And I'm like, what do you mean? Oh, my gosh. Oh, what do you mean? I love this movie. I love John Cusick, his sister's in it because she's in all, her, all his movies. Isn't it so weird? No, nah, I think it's just like a, it's like a package deal. You know, I started noticing that when I was younger, that like she would always show up in his movies. And for a long time, I didn't know that they were related, yeah, you know, yeah. until I, one time I read the credits and I was like, oh, that's weird. They have the same last name. Are yeah. they married? No, that's her brother. You yeah. Know? Yep. But Anna has Jack Black in it. Those it does. are like two of my favorite people. It does. I can't believe I've never seen this movie. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I've never so seen So for those that movie. don't know, Rob, a record store owner and compulsive list maker, recounts his top five breakups, including the one in progress. It's great. It's great. I, I need like to watch it. it. Yeah, that's from 2009. I'm going to watch it. that. I'm deleting these as we go so I don't repeat them. Can we talk about creepy retail movies? Uh, yeah, we can. One hour photo. Oh, <gasps> yes. My gosh, you are bringing just such great ones. That's Robin Williams. It is. And that he's is the creepy crazy. film developer, and he's, like, obsessed with the family. Yes. Uh, tell me, does he what break does into their out? house? Is that what happens? Like, she brings in her film for film. him. Yeah. And then... um, I haven't watched it in a really long time. It says... I, think, I feel um, like he breaks into their house or something. Robin Williams, Connie Nielsen, Michael mm. Vartan, and Dylan Smith... A mentally unstable photo developer targets an upper middle class family after his obsession with them becomes more sick and disturbing than any of them could imagine. Amazing. Uh, Might have to watch that one again. That one, that one's great. I need to watch that one again. And then another really kind of creepy one that I have where they're stuck in a store is The Mist. Oh, I I think I've seen the previews, you know, back when it first came out, but. The Mist is old. Yeah. Um, I believe that's a Stephen King. Yeah, book, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Yep. And they get caught in there. I didn't I didn't Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll have to um one. I'll have to look that one up. That's good. How about Dawn of the Dead? Oh my god. <laughs> I it saw says, that on the list. Following an ever growing epidemic of zombies that have risen from the dead, two Phil- Philadelphia SWAT team members, a traffic reporter and his television executive girlfriend seek refuge in a secluded shopping yes. mall. Yes. And they kind of like live it up in there, right? I think. <laughs> like at first they're like, "Oh, this is great. We're stuck in here. Who cares?" Right. But then like the zombies start moving in. And that's from 1978. That's a, yeah, that's an old one. Wow. That's older than us. We have so many movies to watch. Pretty old. Um, I never even heard of this one. It's called Intruder. Oh. And um, this, it just says 80s. 
It doesn't give me an exact date. Oh, okay, date, okay. But it says the overnight stock crew of a local supermarket find themselves being stalked and slashed by a mysterious maniac. Oh, yikes. I think they, like, they close up the store for the night and somebody's in there with them and they Ooh. can't figure it out. Ooh, spooky. Why in scary movies do they always make the wrong move? Like, all the chainsaws and like, can't we just get in the running car? <laughs> Are you crazy? Let's go to the cemetery. <laughs> Is that I mean, a Geico it's almost commercial. A I love that commercial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think and they're like is. hiding behind the chainsaws, and the and killer's like, right behind them. Like, are you fucking it's, kidding it's, me? This is way too easy. <laughs> and how is it that they can run, trip, and fall, run, trip, and fall, and the killer is always walking, like Jason or yeah. whoever, and yeah. and they still, still catch, catch up. up. How yeah. is that? Well, because they fell 40 fucking times. Oh, okay. He's got plenty so of time. don't fall if you're being chased He's like, I'm by saving zombies, my energy, killers. just power walking over here. <laughs> you know? So what was that last show that I told you that was really good? Um, the Superstore one? No. Oh. The one that I just Googled before I... So I have another one called The Price is Right that everyone knows about. Steven mentioned that. The price um, is right. Yeah. So that's, that is, um, you know, come on down. You're on the price is right. And they have to pick prices for all the, you know, and then they got the big wheel to spin at the end. Well, I know, but I'm what, oh, like so you're just talking about the show. I'm absolutely talking about the show. <laughs> I thought it was like a movie where they go on the price. Is no, right. no, that's totally retail. It's like, you got to guess how much everything you is. And it's ridiculous. It's makes like so much more this sense bar now. of soap. You know, like this bar of soap, this toothpaste and toothbrush, how much are they? And they're like, $250. It's like, who's spending this money? They have no clue. They have no clue. Or how about the one that thinks they're smart? <laughs> and it's like, you can win this, you know, uh, Toyota yes. Century or whatever. And they're like, $1. One because dollar. they think that everybody else is higher. I think it's great. I hate when they do $1. Yeah, it's just like, there's no thought in it. Like, come on, I want to hear a number. Like, get the exact on That's there. That's 498. Yeah, just guess it. Just know? guess it. So um, the first episode date was September 4th, 1972. I thought maybe even the 60s. So I was close. Okay, yeah, too. yeah, yeah. So there's 50 seasons of it. And then do you know how many episodes? Oh, God. There's... Over over 10,000. I was going to say, there's got to be tens of thousands Could, of them. You know what I didn't know? And... Uh, I can recheck this, but from imdb.com, the director is Adam Sandler. I did now? Yeah, I didn't know that. Really? I didn't know that. So I'm not sure if that's, Stop I don't know if that's it. true or not, but that's. Is it the same Adam Sandler? I don't know. Somebody else I'll have to look it up, Adam but Sandler. I was like, oh, so no second. idea, no idea. Hold so check that second. out. Um, We're going to get to the bottom of it. I also right want to mention while you're looking at that, that yeah. the models on The Price is Right can earn a salary of $100,000 per season, which doesn't feel like a lot. Um, and they earn about $800 a day to be a not model. But I guess you don't have to do much. You don't have to talk. You just have that to be still beautiful. That seem like very much, though. Like, I mean, do you put a price tag on beauty? You got a strict it's regimen. Be a more, yeah, you do. Good looking. You, you know, do. you got to work out every day. You can't eat like shit. How Look many Vanna seasons White. would be in a year? Look at Vanna White. Yeah, yeah. She definitely makes more than 100000 per season. But Granted, she's been on the show for 50 years. Yeah, There's right. another one, Price or Pri Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Did I say Price is Right? You did. Vanna White? No, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that one retail, though? I guess it's... I mean, they used to, at the end... They would have. They would get to pick their prizes. Oh, remember? Oh my gosh! Like you yeah. could pick a new washer and dryer or a new. Do you car remember who <laughs> used to host Price Is Right? I thought it was always Pat Sajak. I no Price oh, Is Right. Bob Barker. Yeah. <laughs> who does it now? Um, the guy with the glasses, Drew Carey. Yes. <laughs> he does. Who li whose line is it anyway? Yes. That's freaking funny too. Hmm. Okay, is Adam Sandler the producer? Okay, Adam Sandler has been directing and producing The Price is Right since 2013. All right, so it is. Oh, it's, wait. It's, I, is it the... Okay, correct. you're correcting me. I love this. He's not the Adam Sandler most people are familiar <laughs> with, but another man with the exact same name. He's listed as director and co-executive producer on Perfect. the show. Perfect. Okay, I'm glad that Adam I brought Sandler. it up because I was like, director, Adam Sandler, I'm like, the Adam Sandler that he's we know? He's a busy know? guy. He is a busy guy, but busy he's not guy. the same guy. So there you go. We all learned just something. So then that. the last show that I have is Reaper. Oh. 
I don't and know that, that one either. And that is older. Okay. Okay. Let me look at it real quick. Because I didn't have that up. I had to um I had to look that I had to like Google like show about kids working in a Home Depot like store and killing demons. Uh, <laughs> and oh. It immediately came up. Okay. So it is um because it's so it's three seasons. Um, it played on the CW originally. Oh, okay, it's a show. Okay, and it's Tyler Labine. Tyler Labine, I think that sounds familiar, but I'm terrible at name. all this. Um, he's really funny. He's like, okay, so when he was going through his teen years, Sam, who isn't Tyler Labine, that's his friend, often wondered why his parents never seemed to mind us slacking off, although they always pressured his kid brother Keith to excel. When he turns 21, however, Sam makes an ungodly discovery. His parents sold his soul to the devil before he was born. (laughs) When Satan pops in to explain that Sam is going to serve as his bounty hunter, tracking down escaped devil souls and returning them to hell, Sam's first reaction is to tell Satan to go to, well, home. (laughs) But it quickly dawns on him that breaking a deal with the devil is likely to have more serious consequences than getting grounded. Before you can say, is it just me or is it hot in here, Sam embarks on his dangerous an often terrifying new gig as the Reaper, assisted by fellow slackers Ben and Sock, as well as Andy, Sam's girlfriend. It was a really good show, and Ray Wise plays the devil. Oh. Um, I don't know if you know who he is. I'll show you a picture of him. That guy, he plays the devil, which I oh. thought he did great at playing the what devil. What else is he in so that we can, um, those that don't know, like me? I mean, uh, he looks familiar, but... He's an American actor, best known for his role as Leyland Palmer in Twin Peaks. Oh, okay. And it's prequel film, Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. Um, he was vice president, Hal Gardner, in 24. And Marvin in Fresh Off the Boat. He was also in Swamp Thing, RoboCop, and Jeepers Creepers too. Interesting. Yeah. And then this Tyler Labine kid... I've always recognized him, but he's a Canadian actor and comedian. He's best known for starring in the television series Breaker High, Invasion, Reaper, Deadbeat, and as Dr. Iggy Frome, head of psychiatry in the NBC medical drama New Amsterdam. Mm. Oh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. That's what he was in. That's what I recognized him oh, okay. from. And I'm sorry, who was that? Uh, his name is Tyler Labine. Okay. That's his, that's Sock. That's Sam's friend on the show. Okay. And he's really funny. And that was a really good show. And me and Johnny used to watch it every week on the CW. And then all of a sudden it fucking ended. Oh, that I don't even huh? think it ended like good. Like it just <laughs> cut off. Oh. Hmm. So that's all my retail. Well, I have Mall Rats. Oh gosh, I forgot about Mall Rats. From 1995. That's Kevin Smith. Oh, see? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Shannon yeah, yeah. Dodery? Dodery? Dort? Dortry? Dorty? I don't even okay. know how you say and it. And Jason Lee. Yeah. So both dumped by their girlfriends, two best friends seek yes. refuge in the local mall. So it's a comedy? Yes. Okay. I'd say so. Because Ben Affleck's in that too. He's young in that. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. 1995. Yeah. Not as young as he was in Days and Confused, but he's pretty okay. young in it. Yeah. And then my last one is Cash Back. It's 2006. So this is a, uh, a British film. Okay. Yeah. It walks a fine line between a beautiful art house flick and a slapstick comedy. That's what it says. So after a painful What's breakup. Cash back? Cash back. Yeah, cash back from 2006. It <laughs> says, after a painful breakup, Ben develops insomnia. To kill time, he oh. starts working the late night shift at the local supermarket where his artistic imagination runs wild. Yeah, I bet that's a good one. I think I, I, think I read about that one on IMDb also. Yeah, so that's what I have. So thanks uh, to Vocal.media, Matt Loftus, Wikipedia, and IMDb. IMDb. Yeah. That's where I got good. most of mine that one yeah oh wait what about confessions of a shopaholic okay that's amy adams oh yeah i don't know what year that is yes 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 i i thought i i think i just glanced at that one and was like i won't forget that one so send us a message mm-hmm. on anything and tell us what your favorite retail movie yeah. is or tv show i'm curious 2009 curious. confessions of a shopaholic. oh okay okay how many times are you watching a show or a movie and they're at the grocery They're store. At a store, yeah, exactly. Or they go to the liquor store. Yeah, like I, um, I don't know. Have you seen the Good Place? Mm-mm. Oh my god, you have to I told watch. You I'd the be good terrible place. at this. 
Dax Shepard. What's his wife's name? Oh, yeah. The blonde. <laughs> uh, yeah. I know who you're talking about. But, but she's I'm... like, <laughs> like right in the beginning. People are she's screaming the at, their, store. <laughs> at their phones right now and at their cars going, you don't know this. But we've talked about Good Place before, too, because I feel like I've watched it since we started doing the podcast. <laughs> Kristen Bell. Oh, Yes. And I'm her name terrible. is Eleanor Shellstrop in the show. That's awesome. <laughs> Eleanor Shellstrop. So funny. She's like, this is the bad place. <laughs> okay, so I just saw the previews to a show. Is it Sandra Bullock? Okay. She walks up and grabs a really expensive wallet, walks to the counter and says, I need to return this. And she said, where's your receipt? She's like, I don't have a receipt. Like she literally grabbed it from the shelf, right? Really? And the girl goes, well, I... I you know, do you have like a credit card? She goes, I pay cash or something like that, you know? And then she goes, do you know what I'm talking about? Is this, um, eight, the, where they rob the, the, oh yes. It's the oceans, whatever. Yes. Yes. Oceans eight. I something think, right? like that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And so I just saw, I just saw this and I thought it was great. And she was like, <laughs> She was like, well, I don't have a, I don't have a credit card or I, I paid cash or whatever she's giving yeah. out. And she's yeah. like, well, I'm sorry. I can't do shit. Well, well, fine. Can you just bag it up for me so right. I can? And she and walks, she out, walks with out with it. it. How yes. many people have tried that? That's what I want to know. Probably a lot. Oh my gosh. Because I know the one time that I had the people tell me I was racist and I was oh. like, oh, give me a break, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, well, then we're just going to leave with it. I go, go ahead. Walk out the door with that. <laughs> and they were like. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had to know that, like, You had LP your, like, was, phone on. Yeah. You had to figure you know, on the phone. I think, I think LP was probably watching them in the store already. Oh, for sure. Yeah. There's been people that have walked to the back in media, because media's yeah. in the back, picked up a TV and walked up to the yeah. customer service and said that they need to return it. Yeah. I'm like, you did not walk in with this. I, I was know. just outside. I know. You did not walk people in with this. People are ballsy. I could never be that ballsy. No way. I would need new shorts every time. <laughs> Every time. Oh, man. But, you know, I've seen a lot of videos lately, too, of people being wrongfully accused of stealing. Yeah. yeah. Where their shit is literally in bags in the cart, and they get stopped at the door, and they're like, are you fucking kidding oh, me? Oh, yeah. Like, you have to have that right. And then they're like, you know what, motherfucker? You can return all this shit. And that's exactly what I would do yeah. if I was wrongfully accused. Because they're like, I saw a lady. He's, like, trying to grab shit out of her hands. And she's like, don't fucking touch me. Yeah. I know the rules. You're not allowed to touch me. Mm -hmm. You know, you can stop me and ask me for my receipt. But don't be grabbing at my shit. You know, like, yeah. she was pissed. <laughs> Do you know I have a jacket? It's more like a blanket looking. Have you seen yes. it? It's my black. Your poncho. My, It's like a poncho, <laughs> right? But it's, like, winter yeah. winter warm. You know, I yeah. love it. It's better than my winter wool, jacket. Huh? I don't know what it is. But I, I just, I got to admire her, I think. And oh, so it's black and white checker <laughs> and black. I mean, it was like $25. Is that how much wool is no, going for? Okay. Not. So, but it's so warm. It's like a blanket. Like I yeah. just love it. But you know what I notice? I get watched. Do you? Because my purse, I, I wear my purse, then put it on over right. and I don't wear a belt or anything. Right. And so I'm constantly like putting it around me. Yeah. And a few times I'll be at other stores and I'll look up and I can tell, I can tell that someone's looking at me like, if what is she put underneath that? If anybody's ever watched me at the store, I have no clue about I it. I am not. <laughs> oblivious i am always looking around I'm so oblivious. oh my gosh like one girl she Please was like don't rob me like i know for a fact she was watching me around the corner like <laughs> where do you think i'm well i was in cosmetics so maybe and that's like, why opening it, like yeah hello it's, there's nothing you know in what there. it could have been the day that i didn't have anything underneath it maybe that's what it was Stop. No, I'm just <laughs> was it titty tuesday <laughs> just my beads from mardi gras last week but I I went to go look up. I was just getting chapstick. I went to go look up and you could tell she was like, oh, like she was standing she right was there busted. watching. Yeah, yeah she yeah. was busted trying yeah. to bust. You. It happened a couple of times. So now I only wear it like, I don't know, just to the gas station yeah. or something because I don't want to be yeah. guilty looking. I would never notice anybody watching me. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm pretty terrible about yeah. that. Maybe I just look like a thief. Well, sometimes I wear that black mask. <laughs> like it's like a ski mask. So... I don't know. Are you wearing your Mardi Gras mask? Yeah. Yeah. Your so Mardi Gras like, mask is this then like crazy? a face mask? Yeah, yeah. So I'm never fully covered. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's so, so funny. funny. <laughs> Jinx. I have a quiz for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yay. <laughs> this is a good one. Is it one. movies? It's movies. Yes. I'm so, so bad at people's names, though. Don't be afraid of the title, everyone. Okay. 100 movie oh, trivia good questions. Lord. All movie lovers should know. We're not going to do all 100, okay. all right? Just well, so you maybe. know. Well, maybe. 
Just so you if know. If I'm really good and really fast at it, maybe we'll get 99 of what them. What can you answer co- correctly? Quickly. Let's Co-wickly. see what's going on. So um, I know you're going to get all these because you're just so amazing. I couldn't get any of them. Okay. The code in the matrix comes from what food recipes? Sushi, dumpling, stir fry, pad thai. Everybody's going to hate me because the matrix is matrix is one of those movies that like you said, like I've seen the beginning. Oh yeah. I've seen parts of the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen, I've seen parts of every single one, but I've never sat down and oh. like watched a whole one. Okay. So, uh, do you know that one? I, we have immediate answers today. So oh. this is awesome. This okay. is awesome. Yeah. So it's sushi. Oh, what were you going to guess? I was going to guess dumplings. So you were wrong. <laughs> Now I'm in the mood for dumplings. I made those a couple weeks Dude, ago. Yeah. So, okay. So oh, I want Chinese food now. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple weeks ago, I had made some great soup the night before. It was all veggies. It was so good. And I was just starving the next day. And I'm like, what could go with oh, soup? Oh, yeah. You put those and dumplings I, in it there. It was like I was on lunch. It was like a random Wednesday. I'm like, you know what? I'm whipping up a batter of yeah. dumplings. I threw them in the oven. I sat on a call. I came back out. I was like, yes. Perfect. It was awesome. So, yeah, now I'm in the mood for dumplings. Great. Dang it. What's the name of Meatloaf's character in the Rocky Horror Picture Show? Oh, Why shit. am I spitting everywhere? I know this. Too. Henry, Eddie, Chuck, Eddie. Al. There you go. Thank All God right. this is multiple choice. I would have never remembered. <laughs> I've watched that movie a million times. Who actually drew the sketch of Rose in Titanic? So Leonardo DiCaprio, which we know he didn't. Billy Zane, James Cameron, or Kathy Bates? James Cameron. Yep. Oh, really? Yep, 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 yep. Who's James Cameron? <laughs> is he the director or something? It, he's Mr. Cameron. His first name is James. <laughs> Sometimes they call him Jim. <laughs> only his good friends. Who, only his good friends call him Jimmy. <laughs> oh, You're asking the wrong person. Oh, that's so funny. Who voices Joy in Pixar's Inside Out? Tina Fey, Katherine Hahn, um, Ellen DeGeneres or Fuck. Amy Poehler? Poehler. I'm sorry if I say everybody's names wrong. I'm, I'm going to say Tina Fey. Amy Poehler. Damn it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where were the Lord of the Rings movies filmed? Ooh, Do you I know, know this? this, but okay. Ireland, Iceland, New Zealand, Australia. New Zealand. Very good. <laughs> Very, we might get through a hundred like, <laughs> like that. Which country does Forrest Gump travel to as part of the all American ping pong team? Vietnam, China, Sweden, France. This one I knew because I could picture it. Fuck. Is it China? Yep, it's okay, China. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. I, was, I didn't know if it was Vietnam or China. Yeah, I, I, I remember seeing guess. the sign. Yeah. I don't remember that. Which famous Pulp Fiction scene was filmed backward? Vincent and Mia's know. dance scene, Mia's overdose scene, the, uh, the Royale with cheese scene, uh, Ezekiel 2517 scene. Ezekiel 2517. Oh, close. It Come was on. Mia's overdose. Damn it. I wonder why that was filmed Wait, backwards. what do you mean it was filmed backwards? It says, which famous Pulp Fiction scene was filmed backward? Maybe because he had to plunge the needle in her, so they used one of those prop Re- needles. Like so the retractable like or something. It, you know, so yes. it came out instead of like went in. You know, I don't know. They actually, that's just my guess. That's a very good, yeah, um, yeah that's I've very good. that movie. So she had to go, <gasps> yeah, as he was like pulling yeah. it or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I've seen that movie so many times. Yes, it says, actually, Travolta pulled the needle out, and the film was run backward to reverse the okay. action. Good call. Okay. Very good. I didn't realize that there was, like, bonus Damn facts it, here. but I forgot the Ezekiel one. Yeah. Oh, I can't that's a remember great movie. what that scene is. Anyways, okay. Which actor was in the following movies? The Outsiders, Wayne's World, Tommy Boy. So Tom Cruise, Matt Dillon, Rob Lowe, or C. Thomas Howell. Holy shit. Okay. So it's The Outsiders, Wayne's World, and Tommy Boy. Is um say the names again. Tom Cruise, no. Matt Dillon, no, Rob Lowe. Yes. There you go. <laughs> no, it all came no. at me so yes, fast. No. I couldn't process it. <laughs> well, Shannon's always like, you guys are slow. So I'm trying to read the questions. You know what? Fast. I figured out how to make my shit good, go faster good. too. But yeah, I, I can't. do two times. I can't. Is that fun? Who was the first one? <laughs> And now if Shannon's listening to a fast, Shannon, just like, you better send me a Snapchat of what that just sounded like. <laughs> and our laughs go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I wonder what that's going to sound like because it's going to be like two times the speed. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Who was the first black person to win an Oscar? Uh, Hattie McDaniel, Sydney po- Poiter. I po- apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, Dorothy Danridge, James Earl Jones. I'm going to say the the Poiter one. Um, Hattie McDan- Damn McDaniel. Damn mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. That's okay. I let you down. Um, and McDaniel won the Oscar for Best Actress in a Supporting Role in a 1939 uh, movie called Mammy. Oh, oh, she was Mammy in, She's Mammy. in Gone with the Wind. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, knew yeah. that. Yeah. I knew Sorry, it was Mammy from Gone with the Wind, but yeah. I couldn't remember her name. Who, yeah, who it was. So okay. McDaniel. Okay. Uh, which is not the name of a child selected to tour the Wonka factory in Willy oh, Wonka okay. and the Chocolate okay. Factory. Okay, go for it. Billy Warp, Veruca Salt, Mike TV, or Charlie Bucket? Billy Warp. Yep. Yeah. Very good. Freddy Krueger wears a striped oh, sweater. God. Uh, which colors? Green and red. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Nightmare. My nightmare. Mm-hmm. I know. Shit. So there's a part in that movie that he, she's walking down like a hall or whatever. I think it's like the steam room. Yes. And he comes behind her and goes around her yes. with his hands. When at our old house, like when I was little, like our old house, oh, not where God. my parents live. Yeah. You had to walk around the stairs and walk up. And then there was Stop. a hallway to my bedroom. <laughs> After I saw that You're movie, I could <laughs> never not. That's two negatives. I know. Walk down that hallway without looking behind me to make sure that Freddie wasn't <laughs> hiding in my parents' bedroom as I walked down the hallway to get to my bedroom. And you're trying to not make a lot of noise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crazy. And I made sure I stayed awake the whole time oh while I God. did that. I swear my room at, at the old house was haunted. My mom's Stop. probably laughing right now, but there were times where I had two windows, two windows. I had, well, I had two windows, but one was always covered because my bedroom, my bed was next to it. Oh God. There were times where there wasn't even a tree by the one window and you could Stop. hear like the scratching. Stop. <laughs> You know, and like how scratching. did you have your bed right by the window? Well, it's the, it was a smaller house, not in the house that they're in now. So my bedroom had my bed had to kind of be up against a certain wall, like away from the cold wall. You know, like the outside walls to stay I'd warm. Have, I'd have slept right. Next and to so that you know, I, I I I can remember so many nights like just staring at that window, like someone Stop. is coming in. Uh, and then this is the reason why I always have to have my feet covered when I sleep. I swear. Something tickled my feet often. Stop. Yep, in that room. Uh, yeah, I wonder now if they, you know, they did some they did some work at the house and stuff, but I wonder now if it's still, I don't know, it freaked me out. So I would always, I always like look at my dolls to, and. I have to like lift my blanket and, you know, tuck yes, it under my feet. Yes. I have to. And actually I was never like that. I would sleep with like, because I'm, I'm like at night, I get so warm at yeah. night. Even when I was little, it's not because I'm 39 now. And uh, <laughs> what? Why are you laughing every time I say that? <laughs> I did. It's truly because I have to cover. So it'll be like 90 in the house. I will still have a blanket because I don't want anything tickling my feet. It's just weird. I can't. (laughs) I'm, I would get terrified as a kid. Yeah. I, yeah. I used to have nightmares so bad. I'm still messed up. That's see, you have so many, like there's so many reasons why I messed up now as an adult. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah. There was always noises and stuff. It's crazy. All right. So anyways, anyways, who did the cat in The Godfather belong to? Oh. Francis Ford Coppola, Diane Keaton, Al Pacino. No one. The cat was a stray. I don't, I don't even know. It the was cat a was a stray. Yeah. <laughs> so they must have just found it on set. Something. I don't know. Um, so <laughs> it sounds like Francis. Francois. <laughs> Francois Coppola found the cat in the studio and handed it to Marlon Brando before the shot. That was it. He was holding it. And that's like a, that's like on posters and everything, really? isn't it? I don't know. I'm fairly certain. I mean, I. See, now if Steve was down here, he'd be able he to answer know. that. But yeah. that's all right. We'll ask him yeah. after this. All right. What is the name of the fictional land where Frozen takes place? Naples, Florin, Grimm, or Arendelle? I'm probably saying I've that never wrong. I've watched Arendelle? Frozen. It's Arendelle, but I'm probably saying that wrong. Yeah. I don't know. Arendelle, Arendelle. I don't know. Someone I don't tell have me. Kids. I don't. I, Unless it's a really mine are good. older. Never seen Frozen. See, but so. like, I I can't say I don't watch cartoons because like, what's the I song that goes with Frozen Canto. that everyone sings? No, don't do it. What is it? Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. That was for you, Bestie. She's singing. <laughs> You know what? Only because I watched Bestie's Kids the other day. Oh, and did you watch and it? She, no, Frozen. But 
I was playing with her toy. That and it says, it. how does it go again? What's let that song? Go, <laughs> let it go. <laughs> All right. That's enough. It's the only words I know. It's the only, oh, it's the only thing the doll that's said. Thanks for that. What score did Elle Woods get on her LSAT in Shit. Legally L- LSAT? In Legally Say Blonde. On, and I'll know. 155, 166, 170, 179. I'm going to say part 166. I don't 179. Damn it. I don't remember that part. Yeah, I've because she was freaking seen out a few like, times. They kept circling it and she would only be like 125, you know. Oh, okay. When she's studying. Wow, like, I got to see that again. I love those movies too. All right, let's see. Which movie is this famous line from? I wish I knew how to quit you. So it's Love Actually, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, Brokeback Mountain, <laughs> <laughs> or The Notebook. I haven't seen two of those movies, and I'll let you guess which two I haven't seen. <laughs> so the funny thing is, I know this answer. Do you? <laughs> so it's got to be The Notebook. <laughs> it's in Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> is it? Yes. Heath Ledger. Hello. I watched all his movies. I did not watch Rip. that one. R.I.P. I did not watch that one. All right. Top grossing movie in 2014. <sighs> the Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 1. Lego Movie. Captain America, the Winter Soldier, or Ooh. Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh, that's hard. That's a tough one. They're I'm all gonna good. Say, I'm going to say Lego movie, though. Close. Guardians of the Galaxy. Dang. I that know. was a good one. I know. It's I good. really like Guardians of the Galaxy. True or false? Sean Connery wore a toupee in every James Bond movie. Oh, I hope not. If it's on there, you know it's got to be true. Really? You know it's got to be true. I was going to say false. If you think the dreamy 007 seemed too good to be true, you're correct. <laughs> Sean Connery is actually my favorite 007. He started balding at age 17. Really? Yep. He's still yep. sexy. Yep. Just like Stan from the Golden Girls. He wears a toupee. Remember that? She's like, <laughs> this is my ex-husband Stan and this is his hair. <laughs> How old was Stocker Channing when she played high school student Rizzo in Greece? 27, 33, 35, or 20? I'll say 27. 33. Really? Yeah. She old. Yeah. And yeah. But and she was like meant to look kind of rough. Right, right. She was like, right? yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rizzo. All right. Let's pick a um, couple more, a couple more. What item is in every Fight Club scene? Ooh, my son might Bar know soap. this. A Coca-Cola can. Shit. A Starbucks cup. A Dunkin' Donut or a Pepsi bottle? Oh, it's not a bar of soap? <laughs> nope. Um, and they're not giving it away in this picture either. Coca-Cola. A Starbucks cup. Shit. I wonder why. I don't know. It doesn't say nothing about it? Um, it says director David Fincher thought the Starbucks shops popping up every block of LA in the late nineties was too much of a good thing. So he poked fun of the coffee chain in good. Fight club. Yeah. I like he that. He was putting it in every, every I like scene. That. I it's never cool. noticed. I'm going to have to, do you know how many times I've watched that movie though? And there's so much shit that you don't notice until oh, yeah. you watch it again. Whenever there's notice. action, I know that I miss so much yeah. stuff. Yeah. And Brad Pitt doesn't have a shirt on. So I would not see a Starbucks <laughs> cup. Sorry. If you watch the Marvel movies in chronological order, which movie would you watch first? Shit. Iron Man, Captain America, the first Avenger, Doctor Strange, or Captain Marvel? I think it's Doctor Strange, isn't it? Close. Captain America, the first Avenger. <laughs> you say close. <laughs> it never is. I know I took a screenshot uh, one time of how to watch them in order. Yeah. I didn't pay attention. Christine would know. Huge yeah. Mar- She's a huge Marvel fan. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one more. Which movie is this quote from? Here's looking at you, kid. Breakfast at Tiffany's, Citizen Kane, Casablanca, Notorious. Casablanca. Yay! All that right, wasn't so, so bad. It wasn't bad. So rd.com, rd.com has 100 questions and answers if anyone wants to go test their knowledge. rd.com. That wasn't so bad. No, no. I thought I'd do way worse. Yeah, not, no, no. And I learned some stuff. So, you know, what's funny. Yesterday, you took off, right? Yes. Monday? Yes. Because you woke up and you were like, oh my God, there's snow. There's no and way. I'm not going to the city. Like 11 it was absolutely supposed yeah. to be crazy snow. Yeah. 
and you were like, I'm taking off. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm yeah. going to take a half day. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go see the new Batman movie. And Lies. guess who ended up driving to the Lies. city? Yeah, I know. I went to the city. Was it bad? Not at all. It took me an hour and 10 minutes to get oh, to a Oh, that's normal. Yeah. 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 That's normal. It wasn't Oops. bad. That's my phone vibrating. Sorry. That's right. It was, you know, it wasn't that's bad at all. That's pretty normal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you left later, right? I did leave later. So there was nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know our, our roads are bad? Like on, um, on 90... Uh, right after Addison, you have to be very careful in the second to the right lane. There are so many potholes. Tell me about it. I, it is, it's <laughs> maddening. Like I drive like a- I think I just spent a, three grand on my freaking car getting it Oh fixed. my gosh. Yeah. I ha, I drive like a crazy woman. Like I don't care who's next to me. Like I'm going oh to my swerve God. so I don't hit these Today, potholes. I had to stop at a store and pick up stuff, right? I oh yeah. I I, so oh my gosh. My you have so much stuff in your I car. I was like, if somebody rear ends me, I'm getting decapitated. <laughs> So I took 94 in today instead of 90, mm. which is unusual for me. And I'm in, like, you have to get over into the two left lanes to get to where I was going. You yeah. Because it splits off. And this car comes speeding up next to me. I'm like, is that fucking Meredith? Dude, It. she had hair like you. Oh. She was driving the same car as you, same color. And I was like, <gasps> and I was like, oh, wait, that's not her. <laughs> Like she was like wearing glasses or something, you know. Oh, Otherwise, my I would have bet money that it was you speeding up next to me. You know, for being an inexpensive car, mine has a good pickup. Like yeah. it's pretty quick, and then yeah. you can put it in sport mode too. Ooh. I know, and it's in inexpensive. So Sporty. it's I know. You say inexpensive because yeah. like it is. You make decent money. Knock it off. <laughs> it was twenty six thousand. My car. That was it. That's it. That's inexpensive. Is that inexpensive? <laughs> that's an. That's not inexpensive. What? I mean, compared to like a Mercedes, but like most people, I feel like, like I'm cheap when I buy my cars. Most people buy like used cars for like eight to 10 grand. Oh, all right. All right. But yours for $26,000, it's like fully loaded. I purposely do that. Yeah. Like I get yeah. the most out of my dollar. <laughs> is that really? Your privilege is shown. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It's gonna oh, be like crying. that person on uh, on TikTok that was like just a bunch of Karens talking about what they don't know. G wagon, what's a G wagon? My car's twenty six thousand dollars. That's all it was, though. It really, I mean, in in especially nowadays, <laughs> you can barely get a used car for less. You can't than get anything. Twelve, fifteen. For grand. those that live in Illinois and maybe in other places, oh, but yeah. there, you go past dealerships, there is not one car in a parking lot. I know. I did notice that in other like other states when I go to visit other states. Yes. They have plenty of cars. When I went to Florida, their car lots were full. Full. I have noticed around here ours are starting to fill up. Yes. Again, yeah. So. We like we have a Ford dealership yeah. on twelve. And for the longest time, I mean it must have been well, probably two years. Yeah. There were five cars and every yeah. once in a while one would leave, another one would come in. So you know yeah, that someone crazy. bought it. And now finally there's like maybe 20 or 30. Yeah. So it yeah. must be, we must be catching up here. So we're you're crying. <laughs> Are people rolling their eyes right now? I am like, I'm totally like, it's over my head right now. I had no idea. <laughs> That's hilarious. I just think it's funny. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> told my dad that my car is leaking a little bit. Like there's a little bit of oil, oh. you know, I think they just didn't tighten it enough. I got to get oil change anyways. I'm yeah. at that, you know, so they'll fix it up. And I, and Steve goes, and my dad's like, well, you got to go get it fixed. And Steve's like, yeah, she's got to get fixed. I go, or I just go buy a new car <laughs> because I hate car problems. <laughs> so and Steve's I. smiling, looking at me, but he's like, hey, no, no, you're not, bitch. You are not getting a new car. Like, you need to pay more of these bills around here. Yeah. <laughs> You have too much allowance of your own. No, yeah, exactly. I was going to say, you don't pay for anything. Um, you know, I was actually just thinking the other day, although I have put a couple grand into my car this year. Yeah, you have. I do feel like lucky that I know every time I get in it, it's going to take me where I need to go. Yeah. You know, it's really, it's not a piece of shit. It's a good car. It doesn't even have a hundred thousand miles. Well, we have the same yet, brand. You know? I love it. Yeah. And um, so I do feel very fortunate that the last couple cars I've had, I'll say this car and the last car I had, because before that I had a busted ass Ford 
I called it the Ford Tortoise. It was the Taurus. <laughs> I forget that and car. How long has that been? Remember that car? It was before I got my Corolla, which Johnny drives <gasps> oh, the Corolla I do now. It was the I do white remember. One, yes. And yes. it was like like this. Yes. <laughs> and Johnny <laughs> like worked an on it and put the steering wheel upside down <laughs> so it was tilted wrong. And but like that car, I could have never taken that car to the city. Oh no. But then I see people driving these clunks of shit down the street doing 90 miles an hour mm. and i'm like how can you trust that every day to get you where you're going uh, you yeah, know like i don't know it's so crazy and to some me. of them are older cars i noticed that are flying down the road they may like yeah. people, like they say they just don't make them like they used right. to i mean and right. if, you know what if they work on their own cars yeah you know i noticed that yeah i'm a toyota fan i'm a hyundai fan Mm -hmm. My one of my neighbors has a Toyota truck. It's a Tacoma, and it has like two hundred and thirty thousand miles wow. on it. Wow! I don't think he bought it new, but I think it was pretty new when he bought it. And he has had it, and he works on it. He's replaced the whole frame on it wow. because it started rusting out. But the rest of everything is good, you yeah. know. Like he's like, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm just going to fucking weld some metal in. Yeah, there. no kidding, <laughs> man. It's so crazy. why are you, why is your car just packed? You just have a ton oh of signs God. to put up or. It's well, I have these racks that I don't need. Oh. That really, I need to drop off at the boss's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can take them up to the office. he's got room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I go over there to pick shit up and I'm like, can you take this? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Always. And he always does. Yeah. You know, he's good about it. Because he goes up to the office. I never, our, our yeah. home office is in Milwaukee. I never go up there. Right. I'm always heading in the other direction. He's right. got stores up there. He goes up there, so he's pretty cool about taking it. So I took those because I had to get them out of the garage, you know, because God forbid I keep anything in the garage. Although we just sold the golf cart, so we had a golf cart. Wait. We just sold it. Why did it. you sell it? Yeah, well, you know, we just, like, we bought it because we got a good deal on it. Yeah. We used it for the summer, and then Johnny was like, I think we should sell the golf cart. And I was like, I'm fine with that, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. We got plenty of friends that have them and stuff in the neighborhood. If we, like, really want to go for a ride in one or borrow one. I'm sure we mm. could, you know. Bud's building a brand new one. Like, he oh, bought, okay. like, the shell of one, and he's completely redoing it, and it looks oh, badass. Wow, that's awesome. Um, So I can go ride around in Bud's if I need yeah, to. Yeah. But, yeah, so we sold the golf cart, so now there's room in the garage. <laughs> and, wow. like, I can unload some of this shit in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not that you he want it. That. We he have a storage that. unit, and half of it is stuff yeah. from when I used to work with you. Why don't you get a We are, we are. Dumpster. Yeah. Every time every time Steve gets back from the storage unit, he's like, more shit is in there. I swear they're just it's like multiplying. <laughs> like it's just the same shit. Just get a dumpster in the There's just boxes and send boxes. The bills yeah. to my boss. <laughs> it's funny that they call it POS. Yeah. Like pieces of shit. Yeah, but it means point of sale. <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah. just funny because every time I think of it, I'm so, like, this yeah. shit. I'm going to bitch about work for a second here. So yeah. we did these sets, right? They had 11 dividers, a header, this ridiculous yes, thing. I know exactly what you're talking about. Thing, right. Okay. And all of a sudden they were like, we want to change the look of it. Oh. So everybody's going to have to redo those with all new stuff. Do you know how much money that is? I know. More than 26000 <laughs> <laughs> It's a Tesla. <laughs> yes. It's a marketing I, Tesla. It's, I can't believe that they just replaced all that stuff. Like yeah. we put it in eight months ago. Not wow. even. And they just decided that they even. wanted to change. So who's asking for the change? The company that you did the work for or the company that you you're in their stores like which is it the company that owns the they product own it. they own it oh the so store they owns it so oh so they decided to change. i think the store owns it yeah oh gotcha okay yeah. okay i always wonder about that like did the corporate say we right. don't like the look of this we need you to right. change this and the company has to put their money yeah into remarketing no. everything no i think th i think they own it i think corporate owns it <laughs> oh so, so corporate decided yeah. they're spending their money yeah Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's so much. So you figure I have these 11 dividers, um, a header. I have. Tell everyone what dividers are for those that don't work. Well, retail. it goes in between the product. Yeah. Yeah. So it takes up like the whole side of a bunker. I call it a bunker, a frozen yeah. bunker. It's frozen meals. It's individual frozen meals. Yeah. You it's know, like that the, the can... reach in coolers yeah. that you see in like the meat department or something. 
So in these stupid dividers, they have a foot that goes to the left and a foot that goes to the right. Oh. So when you stack them together, you have to have them kind of. So you figure 11 per store. Yeah. And I have 11 stores. So how many dividers do I have? A hundred and (laughs) eleven. Well, 10 times 10 is a hundred. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. And so I have all those and then the headers. Plus I have those two racks in there. Plus I still have another display that I forgot to put up at my store last week. So I, when I stopped this week to do this project, I have Mm. to put that up. And then I had an extra of this one. Plus we rep this company that has pushers and I had asked for extra pushers because some of mine at the stores are broken. They only last so long, you know. So I have a bunch of those in there. And I was laughing because Kayla, <clears throat> we both went to, because they sent it to one hub store. Oh, yeah. And mm-hmm. then we all went and just picked up our stuff, you know. So I get there this morning, and then Kayla showed up just as I sliced open my finger. Oh, gosh. <laughs> because they got them. They're heavy. They got them in this big-ass box up in the steel so I, I got the ladder and I was just taking them like by bundles, walking them down, putting them in a cart, going back up. Take, and I like slid it into the cart and it just, oh, and it's like flappy gosh. skin. So then oh, I'm like, gross. don't want to stop, but I'm trying to not get blood on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I was so grateful when Kayla showed up. So then she helps me load it into my car, right? And I cl- I had both of my back doors open, plus I have, like, a hatchback, right? And I close the one door, and a bunch of shit falls, falls off the other side. Jeez. And then that's when I sent you guys that message. I was like, God forbid somebody rear-ends me. I'm decapitated. Oh, my God. I wonder what companies, like you represent companies in stores. Yes. So other companies that don't have, you know, like the budget for that or right. just don't do it. Right. How do their signs get there? You know what I'm saying? Like, like let's just say you know what? a really big store or a really big company <laughs> is like, nah, we don't need representation, but right. we're just going to send our signs to stores and trust I... that these, these signs are going to get put up or these pushers are going to get put in or do you feel like everyone has representation or how do they, what do you well, think? Well, you know, I feel like, because I ran into my favorite rep today. Oh, okay. Not my favorite, like not my favorite individual, but it's the company that I love is Chobani. Oh. And they have their own reps that come in, you know, I think Monday through Friday. Just okay. Like us. Okay. They make sure if there's displays, they're full she gave me coupons for free coffee oh, creamer. How nice. And I was like, oh my God, I love you so much. Wow. I actually, because a customer's like, can you go in back and get more milk and put it out here? And I was like, yeah, hold on, let me get you somebody, you know? Yeah. So this girl is pushing this cart full of yogurt. And then she's Expired got Expired yogurt? No. Oh. And then oh. she's got a milk crate in her arm. She's getting ready to go stock it. Oh. And I was like, hey, I'm like, customer's asking for milk. And she's like, I'm just a vendor. And I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> So we both like look at this kid that walked around the corner like, uh, bro, you work here? And he's like, yeah, I guess I work here. Hold on. You know? <laughs> so then I was like, let me help you with that. Cause I'm like, this is Chobani. This bitch works for Chobani. I love Chobani. Yeah. I eat their yogurt. I use their coffee creamer. They have good oat milk. Like, oh. mm. so I was like, oh my gosh, let me help you with that. I love Chobani. I love your coffee creamer. This is great. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like talking her up. She's like, oh, you're such a fan of ours. Hold on. And she picks up her backpack and she's like, you like the coffee creamer you said? And I was like, yeah, what else you got? You know? Oh my gosh. She's like, have you tried the oat milk? I'm like, not yet. Yeah, not yet. What you got for me? <laughs> she's like, here, try the oat milk. Here's I keep on free today. Oat milk. <laughs> so then of course I went shopping after work to get my coffee creamer. I forgot my coupon. <laughs> oh gosh. Darn it. That sounds like something I would do. We're hanging out too much. That's I the know. problem. I, I would, put it in a safe place. Oh, uh, yes, of course. So I wouldn't lose it. Of course. I left it there. Yeah. <laughs> Still in the safe Stupid. place. But so either they send in their own people to put up their signs. Long story, even longer. No, no, this is great. <laughs> either they send in their own people or their shit never gets put up or they work with the store to have the store make the sign with you know, our product on sale or whatever. Oh, sorry. I keep yawning. I don't know why you're doing a long that. day. I've been up since five. Like you, I get up. Well, you get, you get up at three, but I got up really early. Sorry. I hit snooze and slept till three twenty two this morning. Oh my God. You slept in. I did. Yeah. I don't know why I keep yawning. 
Anyway, sorry. So they have people. <laughs> I think they probably have people that come and do it. Oh, okay, okay. But really, I mean, like even we get questions sometimes, and we only go to those certain stores. So I feel like they just work with the store. Like, hey, we have this. Can so if you are repping companies in a store and someone comes up, and says, you know what? I could really use your help. I know you guys do resets or whatever. Can you help me? But it's product that you do not represent. I would help them. You would. Yeah. You would. You would put probably a time limit on it, though. Well, like yeah. You wouldn't it would be depend there all on day, what it was. right? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You know, I can't even. Does it say depend that. on the store? Does it depend on the manager? Yes. Like, well, yes. t- tell me more yes. about this. Yes. <laughs> all of the above. All of the above. Yeah. You know, okay. You're good so, to me. I'll be good to you. But then let's put this display right. up of my stuff. So anybody who works retail knows that each department has a specialist, right? Like a specialist takes care of a whole division for bakery, for produce, sure. for deli, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So those guys get a hold of you. They know who we are. They know we work, you know, we don't work for them, but we work for the same company, sure. essentially. Sure. Their company hires us. So if they say, hey, I really need help doing this, I'll be like, okay, you know, I'll help you do that. Generally, I let the boss know. Like, hey, I'm helping this person do this, you mm-hmm. know? So, and as long as they're okay with it, you know, yeah. I mean, I usually get my stuff done. So I don't. You know, when I first started at the company that you're at, yeah, um, the first year I was doing resets in Delhi, which is why yeah. I know Delhi f- fairly well. Right. It was, it was pretty, right. it was good. Um, I really never really worked in Delhi before. Maybe I would stop. I've like, never worked once in a Delhi. Year, yeah. You know, if I absolutely had to. Um, and so it just became like, I knew everything in Delhi and just, it just kind of stayed with me. Yeah. Um, but I remember the first year we were trying to make a name for ourselves in the stores and cause we were new to the division. Right. And, um, the merchandisers or the, like the leads, the store leads, we would tell them, you know, I would say, you know, I'm Meredith from so-and-so and and blah, blah, blah. And they would say, Oh, I need you to do all of this, you know, in Delhi. Well, and we work from let's say six to two 30 or whatever. Right. I was in the city till four or five every single day. I was getting up at, you know, three or four. And, you know, finally I would say about, I don't know, maybe six months in. Well, no, it was probably like 12 months in. I was doing all this work. I was burnt out. Yeah. I was just repping all these companies, but the the teams, the store teams were right. like, I need you to do this, this, and this. Right. And my boss finally our, put your a boss, stop to it. Called and said, How many, how, how long are you working? Yeah. You know, because they track your miles. Right. So he could take a look that I'm leaving the house at four and not getting home till six or seven. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, Uh uh-uh. uh, two stores. Yeah. You're done by two, especially if you're in the city, because right. you need to get home by four or right. whenever. That was when traffic right. was nuts, right? Yeah. yeah. That was before COVID. That was when everybody yeah. traveled to the city. And I remember having to send an email to all of the people that would use me. I'm quoting, I'm using yeah. quotes that would use me for stuff and say, here is my hours of work. Here's what I do. Here's who I rep. Right. And you know, they were mad at me for months. Oh, I'm sure. They were like, wow, what do you mean? You, you, you can't weren't free, work. Yeah. free labor to them yeah. anymore. Yeah. You, right, right. It was like, if you would like me to do something. And then we we worked through right. it, right? And you were trying to make, we were trying to make a name for our company and stuff right. like that. And I, I just remember being absolutely exhausted. Obviously, I was younger. Yeah. So it didn't matter. It was fine. But, you know, it, it yeah, but you just, weren't that young. And I'm a you yes person. I mean? We've talked about right. that probably in our first episode. Right. I'm a yes person. No I problem. Always, I'm not worried, you know. But when I get to the store, I'll walk around, see what I need to do. And then, like, I'll go to the departments, like, hey, I'm here. Do you need anything, you know? Yeah. Generally, they're okay. So I don't know why they were having you run ragged. Do you, you know? now, when you ask them that, are you like across the store, like, do you need anything? <laughs> What's your name? Are you Ezekiel? <laughs> Fuck you, you Ezekiel. Ezekiel. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> so no, you know I'll. But then I have my favorites. Yeah, you know? right, right. I have, but you have to put a time limit on it, right? So for anyone that's listening, whether you're starting off at a job, whether you've been there a year, whether you're yeah. been there how many years now? Two no. years? No, two years. August will be two years. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, and if they're if they're, if you're if you feel that you're getting taken advantage of, yeah, or they're just you know you're starting early, you're burning the candle at both ends. Yeah. Isn't that what they say? Yeah. Just step back and look at the whole situation. Yeah. 
Are you getting paid for what you're doing? Right. Are they using you? So are you free labor? I've Especially been, if they're in yeah. like a position like you. I've been just good take about a look that. at that. Yeah, I've been good about that it's because not worth I know it. I'll get pissed and like eh, I'll go find another job. You yeah, know? like yeah, because so you've, you've had enough. You've had enough. Yeah, for sure. So if you're if you're feeling that way, just step back for a minute and just be like, is it worth it? Right. They're not your friends. I know, you know, because they I know just want worth. things done. So don't think you're trying to <laughs> right. make friends or or you know climb up the ladder yeah. or anything like that. Because yeah. you could do it more than just that kind of right. You know for sure. So I do have a brand new team, like team manager of a meat department. Oh, okay. And she stepped up from yes, you know, yes. And like I always, I offer her. Yeah. Like, because today I had to do this reset, put in the new POS. Well, they have the product in a freezer door also. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, the boss really doesn't like that it's four wide. He wants it three wide. I said, well, you know what? I don't have like that much to do here today. Yeah. So I'll go take a look over there, see if I can condense it, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And I went ahead and did that for her. And it took me 10 minutes. Yeah. But it's something off of her shoulders that yeah clearly her team wasn't going to accomplish you know and so I did that for her because guess what then when I'm like hey can I put up a display of this she's right. going to be like no problem yep you she's know? just going to remember that yeah how about the managers that forget the things that you did for them so that happens to me now now I've been at my new role for a yeah. year and I remember always helping these certain managers and like just, I don't know, like maybe six months ago, I walked in and I said, hey, I used to help you. I can, oh yeah, I totally remember. Can we do this? Oh no, can't do that. Really? Like how often does that happen? Where you work your rear end off you know for what? somebody and they just don't seem to remember <laughs> that you did any of that work. And then there's no favors paid back. So when I walk in with something that I've been told to put up, I say, it's not up to you. It's, it's your yeah, boss. It's not up to us. It's so up to, yeah. If you need to make a phone call to find out where I'm putting this, go ahead and do that. You <laughs> yeah. Know? Because like, I'm putting I don't, it up. I don't take shit, you know? So there was one thing that we had to put up. I think it was in Wisconsin yeah. and it was by the pharmacy and the pharmacies are already oh God, congested. Yeah. yeah. And it was no, like, this is what's happening. It came down from corporate. Yeah. And they were just like, was that the matter. ones that like, right when I first started Probably. and I wanted to quit? Like, like I called you like Almost I'm ready to quit. Definitely. <laughs> they the company they were the decided, most ridiculous displays. Let's talk ever. about that. So without calling the people out, <laughs> they so were it ridiculous. was they decided to save money and send the displays not built. So you know a lot of right. times when you see cardboard displays in stores, in they already box. come in. Yeah, yeah. they come on a pallet. You cut around it. Open it. Yep. Boom. It's done. It's done. Yeah. They decided to save a whole bunch of money and have uh, people build it. Now, yes, we were getting paid for it. This wasn't free labor. We had a um, you know, a contract with them and stuff. I thought I was going to die. Like I was standing there was the looking at this thing. I was calling people. No one understood. It wasn't just us. Right. No one right. got it. Right. And then of course, once you started, okay, so I'll explain it. So there were sides. There was a back. Then you had to build shelves out of cardboard. Right. Do you remember that? Yes. So you had to like turn, you know, like, like you no, had to I'm like. I'm having nightmares <laughs> right now. I don't even want to think. Fold, but fold, yeah, it turn. It was like four sides, four yes. open sides. And there was a box at the bottom that you had to put them all in. Yes. But then to get the top on, you really had to like to, climb on a milk crate yes. to squeeze yes. them all in there. Ugh. And we all had like our system. I remember yeah. everyone like, you know, like one person would do it at one way. One right. person, and they all turned out the same. Right. But I remember the first couple of days I was like, holy shit. It yeah. was so overwhelming. I think it took me like three hours. And you to had to find a spot. One. Oh yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Like we thought, oh yeah, this will be easy. We'll do four or five stores in a day. Yeah. And it was like 1 p.m. and I was still at the first store. I'm like, oh my it was God. so bad. It was crazy. They and had- then at, at the end of a day, they would say, how many did you get done? I'd be like, uh, one. like you mean at the whole, like a whole team? I did four. one. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the first day I was like, um, I think the whole team of 12 got four done. Like <laughs> that was terrible. It was and crazy. Then you had to go find the product. Yes. 
You were now, lucky. You were if lucky. If it came in and they kept it together. So I would say 80% of the time, yeah. the stores did throw it on a U-boat. Those yes. are those longer yes. carts with the sides and there's nothing yeah. in the middle. So they threw everything on the yeah. U-boat. But then what I noticed is it said in the notes that you had to tell the pharmacy all about it. The pharmacy owned it. They owned the ordering. They don't they, do care. Do you remember? Yes. And they could care less. They could care less. And... I was getting there at 4.30 in the morning to try to get the first one done. Pharmacy don't open until 9 a.m. Right. So who are you going to give it to, right? And be like, did you talk to pharmacy? I'm like, hell no. It's 6 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be part of the questions. Yeah. Like, were you able to build it? Yeah. Did you die? Almost. And, and, did, you, <laughs> and did you tell the pharmacy? Hell Absolutely no. not. <laughs> oh, my God. That was the it, worst. Yes. It was the that worst. That was crazy. And then now, like, I have flashbacks. They're like, oh, we have these displays. And I'm like, no, oh. no. Do they no. come all together? Yeah. <laughs> or do I need to call off that It's like, that oh, week? this is easy. You just, you know, it's flat. So you pop it open, fold the sides in, put two thingies in it, and then put a show. Oh. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. that's perfect. I could do 40 of these that's a day. <laughs> and I know, like, during the holidays, oh, my gosh, like, uh. the meat, the beef companies, you know, like, I yeah. don't know. Not Slim Jims, but you know all those kind of snacks and right. stuff like that. They would they always have their stuff ready. Yeah, sausages and or stuff uh, like what's that. another one like um, and bacon, sausage and bacon. You know, like yeah. the uh, shelf stable bacon. Yes. You know, yes. the ones that you see everywhere. Or what or, about tagging turkeys at Christmas time and Thanksgiving yeah. time? You know, okay, so Fudge. I remember one year, and I know we're bringing up Thanksgiving, even though it's <laughs> March, but I do remember one year the prices came down. Um, it was like the day before they came down the day before so that all the meat departments could tag early, keep it in the back cooler and then put them out on, oh, let's God. say Wednesday when yeah. the sales started, yeah. which was like two weeks before Thanksgiving or a week before Thanksgiving. Yeah. The prices that came down were wrong, wrong. were wrong. So every single thing that they, and so they, who got fired? <laughs> I want to know who so took they had, it for that one. You know, so these stores threw a whole bunch of labor on this Tuesday, you know, and said, you know, four people are going to be on this. Cause obviously we know how many right. turkeys are sold right. in stores. Doesn't right. matter what store you go to. And they, so they had, you know, four people tagging, tagging, bagging, whatever. Yeah. And doing all the stuff, getting it in the carts, putting it in the cooler. And then, Little old me and it. the rest of the team oh my God. had to redo it on Wednesday because we realized. Luckily, it was like two SKUs or two UPCs that were wrong. Right. So, but then you had to pick through the whole cooler of which ones right. needed to be retagged. So that's an absolute mess. Yeah. That's an absolute yeah. mess. But, you know, and I get it. Like, people make mistakes, and we're only human, and we're not oh perfect. Oh, yeah, for sure. But shit like that, how does somebody not double, triple, check that? Right, right. Like, we're right. sending this out to the company – they're going to spend a lot of time doing this. Right. And then we're just going to be like, oh, sorry. Yeah. No, fucking you get your ass in here. Do you know what I learned on one of the systems? <laughs> I learned this just a couple of weeks ago in one of the systems that if you have a price variance, like if there's like, let's just say savory turkey was, you know, $5.99, let's just say. And then like regular turkey was six ninety nine or, you know, $4.99. Right. And then something else that was like garlic and all this kind of stuff was seven ninety nine. If you accidentally click one little button, right. everything goes to seven ninety nine or everything oh goes to six ninety nine after you've already chose yeah. all the stores that you wanted to go to. So everything and I, I think like, that might have been what happened. I feel like that's too easily mistakable. You know what I mean? Like yeah. shouldn't it be a little harder than that to fuck up everything? No. <laughs> no. no. What no. the fuck? Like your cat walks across your fucking keyboard? <laughs> yeah. Because everyone's working from when home. When you're going to make dumplings and soup? And you fuck up the whole company? <laughs> really? <laughs> fucking Milo? <laughs> what are you doing, Spooky? Get out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't think I've ever mentioned this before. What? So there was a disgruntled employee many, many years ago oh, who God. did planograms. So planograms are like the strips that you see throughout the, the whole planned, store. Planned, yeah. It's the planograms <laughs> that show like UPC, right. a picture of the item, the price, the barcode. Right. So that it's easy for the stores when there's a hole. In other words, when there's nothing there, they can scan on that shelf strip and it'll tell them how many they should order or anything like that. There was a disgruntled employee that worked in planogram. Oh, shit. And right before he left, he decided to put swear words and like, 
fuck this job. Oh and my like, God. so your Ritz crackers were like, screw this, suck oh my, my ass. Oh my God. <laughs> and they started putting it up. Like the reset started the following day. And so they started putting up all these different strips. And they're like, and they're what like, ass, uh, <laughs> you know, oh, they mean assortment, ass, oh assortment. My God. And so they're not really paying attention. And these reset teams are quick. Like they just find the start of where they need to go. Right. And they throw these, you know, they throw these shelf strips up. The reset teams piss me off. And then the a store director is walking through his store, you know, seeing the, the reset. Because remember, we had to sign off on our resets oh, at our store yeah. years ago. So they still have to do that. Yeah. So, so he's looking through and he's like, What's the suck my dick? Oh my god! Suck my dick crackers and what's the and so yeah. But I mean the person was he already just, like, gone. Changed it. Oh, he in changed there? it. Yeah, added a few extra. Was that at our place? Uh, no, Mm-mm. no. That was at my place. <laughs> no. Oh my god! Isn't that, that great? Is so crazy. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. So yeah. I have no idea if anything happened after that, but I mean it was really funny. So yeah, it is funny. I only saw pictures. I wasn't at the store, so. Yeah. They were like, what's going on? And then you they scan it and it's like, suck my dick on the <laughs> handle. <laughs> what is this? It's an art project. <laughs> I like it. Picasso. Picasso. <laughs> I like it. Picasso. I tried to get Johnny to say that the other day. That's so funny. He wouldn't. But yeah. So on that note. Yeah. Behave in planogram. Behave everywhere. Yeah, that's true. Don't be a douchebag. No, yeah. Just be a good person. Yeah, because all it did was cost the store a bunch of money. Now, I mean, right. who knows? They, they And labor. Yeah, oh, they could have charged in I labor. Hate, I don't know. I hate the reset teams we got going on right now. I shouldn't say I hate them. That's yeah. a bad word. Because you're part of that reset they team, me right? Nuts. Don't sometimes, no. Or not the actual team, but they you do are your doing own it. too. Oh. Yeah, they were doing it. It's um some cookies. Oh. And the UPCs are changing. Oh. So they refuse to put the old UPCs on the new. So we have these. Oh, yeah. So I'm just putting them back on the shelf motherfuckers yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they just put them all in the carts put them in the back room yeah oh no it drives me nuts you know and i had a store director he saw me like picking through them he's like those aren't outdates are they and i was like no i'm just putting them right back on the shelf bro <laughs> that's um that's tough but do you yeah. have a sheet that shows you like this ubc has turned into this so that you can compare i do have or you an email. just know well you know they're still named the same thing oh, okay. okay they just did a major you know they want to be fucking fancy i don't know they just changed the upcs they got new packaging you know? okay that makes sense so it could they, be a new they supplier, changed so. the upc but it's still the same product yeah we got to sell through this product before we're going to get the new ones in right this product still scans at the register this product also will scan at the register so yeah you know, that makes sense it'll make it a lot easier to tell if they're fifoing or if they're just shoving yeah. them in front when they stock them right you know? right right and then that'll be oh my gosh yeah. for the next couple of weeks you'll be switching yeah. everything out because you know that they do that right right it's a pain. It's a pain in the butt it to is. grab everything off and then put it, it all is. back. And yeah, it is. I know so. some store directors don't like, so there's, there's stairs that you can build in cans, like in canned <laughs> goods. If you ever go to reach for something, you yeah. ever notice that cans are way in the back right? or sometimes when they have walks, everyone faces the cans. Yes. Actually, they don't like that because it slows down the person stocking. Oh, really? So if you actually make a step. So in other words, like if you fill the bottom, okay. So if you fill the bottom layer right of cans and then you put cans in front hoping that customers are going to buy those cans but you don't you want to put them in back oh. uh, for the second shelf yeah you know like on top yeah because when your third shift comes in and they're quickly opening their cases and they want to throw that on top then they're moving those top cans yeah. down and then putting the other ones in back well they should be taking them all off well they should be taking them, them all off and then right. sliding them on right so. but just think of it that way too <laughs> like if you're putting everything in front yeah. then it's in their way but they should be taking them off sticking them in the back but I yeah. do pull everything to the front. <laughs> yeah. I got to make it look nice and full for my I mean, pictures. that's what I always do, but I, I'm sure for years I've pissed third shift off, yeah. but I don't know. But I try. I but I should say that some stores. I try to pull everything forward, though. I just. Right. Because then what they can do is just take that top layer off and then go around it to right. the back and, and put it back right. there. Yes. You could just literally pull this off, put the new one on, and then put yeah. this back. You and know? then some so. store directors don't like boxes. So if you have cans with boxes, oh. so you're you're doing it manually, one can That's at funny, a time. Because I have noticed some stores will use the boxes, and, and some, some won't. It won't. all depends on the look and what they want. Huh. Yep. So there's a there's a bunch of different uh, tricks to to stocking and what they want to see for sure. Yep. Maybe and some I get of them, dirty looks. 
And some of them, I remember doing inventory, they would say everything goes to the back and to the left. So you're like on the, you know, with the UPC. And then some people are like, nope, pull it all forward. Then some people are like, you know, lay it all out. I don't want it on the left. It's all, it all depends on the person. Huh. Mm Mm-hmm. I know. So the back and There's a lot. That's why when you walk into a store, you can walk into five stores that are of the same name and right. it's all different. It it's all depends all different. on, even though it's all supposed to be the same, yeah. it just depends on what that person wants to see. Yeah. You know, like produce might look a little different, like some different kind of sets. Of course they have so many different coolers and you know, like every store is different with that. Yes. So it's going to be different because right? some are old other stores and some are newly built, built stores. stores. Yeah. So that's what I hate too, because I, I keep saying that and I probably shouldn't say it, but like, I'll go in there and be like, okay, yeah, we're supposed to move this around, but like, it totally doesn't work here. So I don't know how they're going to do that. I don't know why they try to generalize all the stores when none of them look alike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It drives me crazy. We'll just do this. Well, that doesn't work here because everywhere else has five shelves in a well. This one has seven shelves in mm-hmm. a well. And, you know, they're tiny shelves and they're short shelves. Yep. They're not normal size. And this and, and so you need seven of them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and all the front doors are different. Right. You got some, some of them you have front doors yeah. on the side. Sometimes they're on right. an angle. It depends right. on, especially the city stores. They're yeah. all different. Yeah. You know, you got the country stores. They, they kind of can look all the same, but as it all long depends as on how they want to, yeah, it's how they want to set up the parking and stuff. So as long as they're new built, they're all the same, but yep. not all of them are new builds. Yep. So. They're all unique. It's crazy. Yep. So it makes our job a little harder. It's, you know, it's one thing if you go to one store every single day, which is what we did for a long time. Because you right. knew what the store director wanted or you knew what it was going to look right. like because of the way your store was set up. Although now, sometimes I walk in and I go, wait, which store am I in? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> or do you remember like we would go and then we would go for training somewhere uh, and the store would be flip-flopped? Yeah. Like let's say yeah. pharmacy was on the left and then you'd go right. to pharmacy was on the right, right. and you're like, wait a minute, where wait, am I? What this about is so weird. our home store that they built it mm-hmm. and we all got used to going there and, and then, then they, they flipped, flipped it. it. And then they, and flipped, then they it flipped it again. I know. We're talking about pharmacy. I walked in and I was like, where the fuck is my shampoo? Now it's bread over here. <laughs> they did. They so did. crazy. What makes them want to do that? <coughs> Sorry. I, was just, okay. I got all crazy. I just, wow. I was like, I don't know the answer. No, <laughs> I'm still coughing. <laughs> I got all excited. Um, say it again. What makes them want to flip the whole store like that? I, I don't know. So I know that. Okay, so for our store, the pharmacy, let's just say, was on the left. Then they moved it to the right where Delhi is now. And there was a drive through there. Right. So they liked it. But it was right by the compactor. So And then it's where the trucks are in and out, right? Or did we yeah. have it in the back? So maybe they just didn't want the pharmacy but to I feel go like around they that went way. This way. Yeah. It, they this like is the pulled front of in the building. and went to the right. Trucks yeah. are back there. For the drive up, they would come this way. So what the hell did it matter? So you're saying that they would take a left, but then the window would be on the right side of the car, though. Oh. So that wouldn't work. They'd have to pull in. So maybe that's why. That, that's why they moved the pharmacy to the front they were left. Like, hey, look at we're fucking idiots. They can't pull in this. And so way. people have to lean over their passenger seat <laughs> to get their back pain medicine, <laughs> which is not good. Not good. They'd have to lean over after having shoulder what surgery the on their fuck? right side. <laughs> So I'm fairly certain they would have to pull in straight so that they were facing the window. So maybe by they the didn't have the drive-in seat. the first time, and so then they like flip. a drive-in like movies, like no, you watch a movie thrill, while you're drive waiting. Through, yeah. Drive through. I don't know. I don't remember. Someone will remember. Someone will tell us. But and then they flipped it again, and now the drive-through is in the front of the building. Because I feel like when my shampoo used to be over here, I don't remember seeing pharmacy over there. I don't know. I never used the pharmacy. Yeah. I wasn't old yet. I was going to say, I don't remember <laughs> using the pharmacy was on the right side. I think we went somewhere else during that time. Yeah. Like when, because that was when they first opened. Yeah. Yeah. We went over to the Kmart across the street when it was around. Do you remember that? That's how long it's been. I love I mean, was probably my Joe Boxer flip flops from Kmart. And I was so yeah. mad when Kmart closed. Yeah. We've lost a lot of like, like the Target. Did you see they're opening a home goods? I did in see our that. Town? I did see that. I really do like that store. I do too. I think there's one in like just east of here that I really like. They have good stuff. So I hope they bring the good stuff here. My credit card's going to be fucked up. Oh (laughs) boy. Don't tell Johnny. (laughs) He doesn't listen to this anyways. 
He might. Well, I guess this was an extended episode. Was it? Yeah, it was. What time is it? Holy shit. (laughs) Well, that was super fun. It's time for bed. It is time for bed. I have a seven o'clock meeting in the morning. I know. It's weird. Seven o'clock. I know. Weird. Well, it's time change. Tonight is? No, no. The ti- oh. It's the time change. It's the zones. It freaked me out. I was like, fuck, I really need to go home and go to bed now. <laughs> time zones? What do you call it? Time zones, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're calling, they're actually meeting at nine. You're calling We're meeting LA. at seven. Yeah. Oh, so you're calling New York? Yeah. I don't know how that works. Stop. I have she no just idea. agrees with me. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 LA. I'm like, I say who no. I'm calling. Yeah. New York. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Call him Minnesota. <sighs> okay well thanks for listening good night good night cheers, cheers. all happy, right happy friday everybody happy friday everybody talk to you next week bye bye this podcast is brought to you by name tag productions llc entire podcast unless otherwise stated written by the hosts Drums, written and performed by my son, Steven. The Klopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all in this together, we might as well make it fun.